Hello, my name is Anjani Kadambi and I'm from Chennai. I attended Padma Seshadri Bala Bhavan Senior Secondary School. Uh, I enjoy reading, fiction and non-fiction and creative writing. The efficiency with which the exam was conducted online despite the lockdown was incredibly helpful. Uh, I had started attending college classes by September when most other law schools were still holding their entrances. So writing the LSAT India definitely saved me a few months worth of delay. Uh, well, I have a disability, so I furnished the LSAC with all the necessary ID that they needed. So they followed up with me regularly and made sure that I got the extra time that I'm eligible to receive. So I got access to practice questions and full length papers. I also used Khan Academy extensively, which is like this great online resource that I cannot recommend enough. Honestly, anyone who's writing the LSAT should definitely be using it. Um, I didn't take any coaching classes for the LSAT, but I did full flat which I ended up not writing because by the time they uh, finalized the date for that, I was already enrolled in the university through the LSAT where I'd already settled in and I was pretty, feeling pretty happy with my choice. This is a whole story. So uh, ever since I was 13, I wanted to be a scientist in some capacity or the other. Uh, I never saw myself doing anything that wasn't science. So once I came to the 11th grade and I picked science with biotechnology as my elective which was incredibly fun, it was innovative and I wanted to be a biotechnologist in college but at the end of 12th I felt very disillusioned by the way uh, science students were tested and expected to study uh, and I, I can't speak for everyone else but I just couldn't cope with it anymore. Uh, so I didn't want to, honestly I just didn't want to write the JEE. So I decided on law because it seemed at first glance Law seemed like a great intersection between my interests and my skill set. I love reading and writing, research, public speaking. But the more I looked into it, I also realized that it's this vast field which will let me work in unique little niches while also allowing me to have a substantive impact in society, which is what drew me to science in the first place. So I chose law for both the freedom it offers and the responsibility it entails. <laughs> Yes, so uh, I'm currently enrolled in Jindal Global Law School because it's one of the most well-established private law schools in the country. Former students of the school that uh, whom I know spoke very highly of it. Um, again, I have a disability and all of the schools I was looking into at the time, uh, of all the schools I was looking into at the time, Jindal seemed the most equipped to offer me support on that front. So, and the general mindset there just seemed very progressive, not to mention uh, they have schools for multiple disciplines, so the electives that they could offer me were also multidisciplinary. So there was just a lot of opportunities and exposure there. But I already feel like a much more opinionated and expressive person, which is saying something because I was already very opinionated to begin with. Um, but I feel like law school has given me a platform to question everything I hear. Pick it apart and critically analyze it till it makes sense and criticize it if it doesn't make sense. Once I do become a lawyer, I hope to carry this attitude forward with me. Uh, I'm a passionate feminist and I'm interested in issues surrounding disability rights and accessibility in our country. So I can definitely see myself taking up human rights law or even education law. Well, honestly, I much preferred the LSAT India exam uh, in comparison to the other entrances I wrote because I felt it, it as opposed to um, memorizing information, pages and pages of information, it felt like it was actually testing my skills and uh, the required processes that need to like go through your head while you're trying to come to a logical conclusion, like it tested my logical analysis and uh, my skills of reasoning, my language comprehension. I just talked about how the LSAT India tests your skills as opposed to how much information you can cram into your head. So I suppose a lot of the skills that I put to use while writing this test, uh, me learning them in the two and a half months in which I prepared for the LSAT India. So uh, it's really helpful if you already have an aptitude for reading and you already enjoy um, reasoning and uh, public speaking and debating because you would have already accumulated a lot of skills required, but if not, that's totally fine because skills can be built up over the period of time. So I would highly recommend using Khan Academy because it helped me keep track of uh, which parts of the exam I was lagging in and which parts uh, I was already good in. So um, it's a much more, it provides you with a much more systematic approach to this exam because I get that it can feel very scattered. They don't ask specific questions. You never know what's going to show up. So use Khan Academy extensively and spend a lot of time 
on your weak points. That's all the advice I can give.